this. Um, where is it now? I would, I would make a motion to um, offer a contract to Richie Planning LLC as a planning expert. Second. Roll call. Mr. Brogan? Yes. Mrs. Duffy? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Mr. Trapello? Yes. Mayor Ford? Yes. Um, okay. Contract negotiations, Cole Block 67, Lot 12. Um, I'll try to think what we can I make a motion to approve the form of revised contract for sale of real estate development rights for Cole Block 67, Lot 12. I would second that. Is that a roll call, please? Yes. yes. Mr. Burton? Yes. Mrs. Duffy? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Mr. Capello? Yes. Mayor Ford? Yes. Okay, attorney client privilege, executive session minutes. For content only, do I have a motion to approve the December 21st, 2015 minutes? I make a motion to approve the executive session minutes for December 17th, uh, 21st, 21st, excuse me, for content only. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. up? No. That's, all right, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Do I abstain since I was not present? Sure. 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 Um, <clears throat> Attorney Client Privilege Executive Session Minutes. Do I have a motion to approve the January 4th, 2016 Executive Session Minutes for content only? So moved. Do I have a second? second. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Okay. Um, potential litigation, affordable housing. There's nothing that stays in. Uh, litigation block 48, lot 23, block 55, lot 33, block 56, lots 1, 3, 6, and 8, block 67, lot 2, sober aviation, that stays in. And litigation 388, route 22, Reddington Realty Holdings, LLC versus the Township of Reddington, that stays in. Consent agenda, all items listed with an asterisk are considered to be routine by the Township Committee and will be enacted by one motion. There will be no separate discussion of these items unless a committee member or citizen requests in which, the event, in which event the item will be removed from the general order of business and considered in its normal sequence on the agenda. Uh, do I have a motion to... Madam uh, Mayor, I would ask that the uh, January 4th minutes be pulled from the consent uh, agenda. That's, okay. oh yes, okay, that's the first one. All right, <clears throat> all right. So do I have a motion to approve the consent agenda with the removal of the January 4th minutes? So Do I have a second? Second. Um, what roll call, I guess. Mr. Burton? Yes. Mrs. Duffy? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes, we can here at 721. Uh, Mr. Capella? Yes, the caveat, I wasn't here. Bob was here for the meeting. Yeah, you, you, you were, yeah, you were here. <coughs> All right. Um, and Mayor Ford. Oh, yes. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. All right. Um, so we pulled out the January 4th minutes. Um, Mr. Roten? Yes, uh, Madam Mayor, I would just. Uh, note that uh, in the vote for the, uh, the 2016 appointments I had made a comment as to uh, explaining my nay vote in that and that comment uh, or in reference to it is not included in the minutes and I would like to have uh, such a comment included uh, particularly in view of uh, a, a comment from the citizens on the same matter by Mr. Oriyama was in fact included so I would like to have my uh, uh, indication as to why my uh, nay vote included in that uh, in those minutes. Um, secondly, uh, maybe just a, a point of order. Um, uh, I believe uh, Council Committee correct me that uh, it would have been appropriate, or it was inappropriate for Mr. Smith to have voted on the uh, the appointment resolution since. His uh, spouse was one of the members that was appointed. Um, so I just wanted to call that point of order. You could stay on that, yes, but on the whole, on the, not, not the entire thing, just on that one. Not even sure 
sure that's necessary. Well, it's a reappointment, too. So, I mean, this is somebody who sat on the Board of Health first. All, all I'm raising is a point of order. Yeah. I think there is a case law that would suggest that that was, uh, was inappropriate. Karen, do you want to address that? Well, I would say that he could, um, that he would abstain just from that appointment only. His spouse, that's all. Is it a renewal? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Say if it's a family member, you probably should abstain. I had to uh, uh, amend my vote for that meeting, so. To just reflect an abstention, that's what I would do. Motion. Well, um, yeah, that was an individual. Abstention with respect to that particular one. Just one person, yeah. <clears throat> All right, with those, with those amendments, do I have a motion to approve the January 4th, 2016 minutes? So moved. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right, comments from the public for items listed on the agenda only? Correspondence? Sewer rate, memo dated January 7, 2016, from Michael Daylaw. Um, um, collection. Right, I checked with, um, I checked our work, um, records, I discussed this with Tom Carroll, our CFO, and um, our recommendation is to keep the rate where it is. Um, do we need a motion? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do I have a motion to accept Vita and Tom Caro's recommendation and keep the sewer rate the same as it, is, as it currently is? I would move to maintain the uh, 2016 sewer rate at uh, $440 per unit. Do I have a second? Second. I'll roll call you. Mr. Carroll? Yes. Mr. Daylaw? Yes. Mr. Carroll? Yes. Mr. Daylaw? Yes. Mr. Mayor Ford? Yes. Second order of new business is an ordinance amending the bond ordinance number 4-2006 of the Township of Reddington in the County of Hunterdon, New Jersey, finally adopted February 21st, 2006, in order to amend the Section 20 costs. Um, uh, Madam Mayor, I have a question uh, on the amendment that's uh, being proposed here. Um, and maybe this is a question for counsel. Um, the, the statute that's uh, referenced in this is uh, NJSA 40A2-22. Uh, and in looking at that, the statute says uh, the cost of an improvement or property may include, and it goes on to list a number of things of which legal expenses are one. My question is this. Um, if there were t not to be an appeal of uh, the litigation the, uh, or if the appeal were to be unsuccessful, um, there would not thereby be an improvement or property um, to which these fees could be included. So I'm curious as to whether or not what we would have in front of us down the road if we've approved to pay fees that are attached to an improvement or property by statute, yet we don't have a property or improvement. Well, I think um, that you don't have to use the amount that you approve for a bond ordinance, right? If you don't protect, if you don't need all the fees. I, so I, I get, but my question is, if the bond ordinance was to acquire an improvement or property, mm -hmm. and what we're looking at tonight is to approve some additional fees to go with that, which are clearly allowed by the statute, mm -hmm. 
as I read it. But if you go through an appeal process or don't have an appeal, then do you in fact have a property or improvement to which those fees can be attached? Part of that answer is that um, the ordinance gives you authorization to acquire the property in any, in any way. So litigation would be included or condemnation was included because I think that was checked at the beginning. So in, in that case, it, 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 it covers any cost to purchase that property. If it's unsuccessful, that doesn't negate the purpose of the ordinance because the purpose failed. And I, I don't see any, any issue with it. But again, I, I would refer to Sharon. And I would defer to the bond attorney. Bond exactly. we still that, that, that was my point. We have yeah, they prepared it. They were researched yeah. whether or not we were had to be able to do it. Yes. So if there are still yes. questions. And I think this is just an introduction, so we can have right. an answer. Right, so that, that was my point. I'm, 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 so uh, we can confirm that. I'm fine uh, with introducing yeah. it. I would just yeah. like to have that clarified by bonds council that I, I can that's in fact uh, I can get that done not a problem. Okay. They are aware of, of, of the situation and where it stands, and they've been in the loop through, through the litigation. Um, so um, I guess they would be the best ones to answer. Okay. And the Thanks. bond was as, as an intent to purchase or acquire. Right. If the acquisition fails, it doesn't mean that the legal fees are, are not are not relevant. Okay. They're still part of the acquisition yeah. attempt. Yeah. <coughs> so, all right, do I have... You just couldn't use that authorization for to purchase something else. Right. So, That's I guess... Only, I mean, my, my, you would have to retire what wasn't used, basically. Right. right. Yeah. So, you know, as has been said here, we have bond council. Um, and bond council is the one who has drafted this amendment. They're fully aware of the situation. They obviously think that this is something we can and should do. And I uh, don't really even understand John's question. So what I would suggest, John, is that you send either bond council an email asking your question or send it through via <coughs> so that nobody is misinterpreting your question. Perfect. Okay, yeah. right. That one we can do a conference call. All right, do I have a motion to introduce this? Did we do that already? No. 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 I well, make a motion to introduce the ordinance. Do I have a second? Second. Uh, roll call. Mr. Burton? Yes. Mrs. Duffy? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Mr. Capella? Yes. Mayor Ford? Yes. The public hearing will be? Next meeting. What's uh, that? January 21st. services of 38,000 uh, over a four-year period through our staff and this resolution is just a requirement um, that is needed before the final approval is, uh, approval is given by DDP for the grant. This grant is to address 
water quality issues in the Holland Brook and Pleasant Run, and also to educate, if there's a component of educating the public, hopefully by, um, by working with the water quality and everything else, the, there may be, there's, there's hopefully going to be a positive um, so, uh, addition to this, which will address some of the flooding issues that we've had along there. And it will also <clears throat> probably include things like a demonstration rain garden and things to show to basically what what we seem to feel is what's happened and what's caused some of the flooding is the runoff from the development. People have paved their driveways, a lot of properties along there are up hills, and by helping educate the public on ways to deal with water on the property without just shooting it down into the stream, uh, we can um, alleviate some of the flooding issues as well, as well as improve the water quality. So it's a really neat grant. It's, uh, has quite a few aspects to it, and it's pretty exciting that we got this one. We'll be working very closely with Steve Souza, who yeah, helped us this together. Is this related to the same grant we got last it's the spring million. or so? We got more, right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's the more. same yeah. grant. It had to, we had to do some revisions, right. and okay. they gave us more. Perfect. So do we have, yeah, I mean, that's been, it's going to be on, coming on a year pretty soon. Do we have any sort of, Plan that the I guess it is there the are, there are. That well, would be doing yes that. yes and, and working with Steve Susan yeah. as well um, the plan it was hard to it's sort of like the housing you know it's hard to plan when we didn't have the numbers but now they are working on on a plan we've got a, a bunch of different components that okay. they are defining right and we don't expect approval of the of our application completed approval to probably March of this year. So it will start after that. So do we need to submit a plan that, to that get the money? Or? Well, we had to submit a budget and somewhat of a plan of what was going to be done. Yes, right. that's the grant application right. that was with the first one. Right. So a plan has been done? Um, it's a grant application. A grant application, yes. Okay. yes. Yes, the basis on which they get right, the right, money. Okay, yeah. All right, so we need to, I need a motion to, this says town, township of resolution. <laughs> yeah, we, we got it a little bit late to say yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, yeah, we were, um, we were running. <laughs> Do I have a motion to approve this resolution? Do I have a second? Second. Uh, roll call, Nina. I think that number might be Mr. Bourbon? Yes. Mrs. Duffy? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Mr. Trapella? Yes. Mayor Ford? Yes. Anything else, Nina? Um, no. No. Sharon? Um, no. Uh, there'll be a report coming. But covered a lot of the stuff we already went on today. And I'll just say that the uh, Reno property uh, closed at the end of December, so some of our transco money has been used to okay. address. Uh, committee reports John Rosen, engineering roads, maintenance, and recycling, library services. Yeah, the only thing I'll, I'll report, um, as some of you may be aware, there was a fairly serious accident again on uh, the intersection of 22 and School Road. and. Uh, one of the uh, uh, mother of one of the uh, accident uh, folks reached out and was curious as to what could be done there. Um, I met with her this morning um, and we talked about it and I explained to her that the, uh, that's the state, the state road um, and that we've had a number of things over the years that we've been uh, accidents and trying to work with the state uh, some more. So what I did tell her that I would again get with Rob and uh, see what we could do in terms of making some renewing some contacts at the uh, state level to see what uh, what might be able to be done in terms of uh, putting this farther up there to do list. I would suggest you include that. In the yeah, exactly. Thank you very much. I was going to do that as well. Yeah, as because I, you know, I responded to the, the, the woman as well. You know, that is a unique 
um, median opening, it, I think, I, I sort of mentally drove down 22, and correct me if I'm wrong, but it's the only one that has right. continue all the way across the school, go, which encourages people to take chances, right. really. Um, quite honestly, the only solution I see, and I'm not a road expert, is closing it, which is going to create an outcry from some people. But I don't see a, a, a it's, it's, it's going to be a matter of, you know, depending on what we can do and what the state's willing to do, I think it's going to be a matter of doing something versus having continuing to have accidents there. And right. I agree with you. Me, that's I agree with you. a no-brainer. You know, um, um, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> Bash and I, just continuing this sort of, it's, it's not my turn, but I'm going to butt in. Bash and I met with the county regarding the Pleasant Road Stand Road 523. But that was, a, that was a very positive meeting, and we talked about, to start with, some additional signage. And I don't mean just, I, I mean flashing, practically playing music, and Bash is looking into that, and that might be a budget item for next year. Robert does a good job down there. I know. <laughs> he had his net out. <laughs> but, um, you know, that, that's like the second worst intersection, but we have more control over that yeah. because it's county and township as opposed to state, which is, you know, I think, I think we will all probably even live to see the day when most of those mediums are, are closed. There are very few highways that still have as many as this does. And they're all dangerous, but that one is singularly dangerous. Right. And I'm sure we know, all know somebody who has had an accident or a near accident there. So, um, but yeah, thank you for that. And uh, good luck, and see if you, you can get any further. I, I don't know, other than closing it though, I don't I work as Liz says putting a light there, but I, I don't think it warrants a light in terms of yes. the number of the, the amount of traffic that's actually crossing. Maybe right. even a flashing yellow light or something. Yeah. It's not it's not a visibility uh, unlike five twenty three and plus it's not a visibility issue. Mm -hmm. It's people people's perceptions rather than it's pretty flat. Yeah. You can see what's gonna hit me. <coughs> anyway. Uh, and Elizabeth Duffy, Planning Board, Farm Light Open Space Preservation and Land Project Liaison, Social Services. Um, I just uh, wanted to report that I, I think you all recall we had the very successful free tree seedling um, program uh, last spring. And we have an opportunity to apply for more seedlings. We must apply by February 12th, 2016, and that would be the Open Space Committee and the Environmental Commission probably working together on that, I would imagine. So um, I guess I'd just like everyone's uh, agreement that we should apply uh, to receive the free tree seedlings. You want a motion? That'd be great. Um, Somebody want to make a motion? So moved. I think it was a great program we had last year. Do I have a second? I have a second. second. Uh, all in favor? Uh, aye. 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 Opposed? <clears throat> OK. Um, the only other thing I'd say is that we had a very successful open space walk this past weekend with uh, very good attendance and people really enjoyed uh, their walk on the open space. <coughs> uh, Betty Ann Ford, Historic Preservation Museum, Zoning Construction Code Department, Emergency <coughs> Services, Recreation <coughs> Planning Board. Um, let's see, uh, zoning, I am going to be spending some time down there with the two zoning and fire official, um, helping my, my COVID up and I'll get them up to speed. Um, we, we were sorry to lose John Barsic, who retired and has moved out of the area. So we have two new people doing parts of his job and uh, I'll be working, you know, working with that liaison closely. Emergency services, I attended the Three Bridges Fire Company uh, installation dinner on Saturday night. It was lovely and we installed them all. Um, recreation, um, I don't know if, I, th I think this is becoming public knowledge, but uh, the rec recreation and the township are going to take over the dog park and continue running it. We're in the process of setting up procedures and how that's going to work, we're still, but it will continue. And uh, that's all I have. Ben, finance, police, sewer? Nothing this time. Sam, Board of Health, School Crossing Guards, Municipal Court? Nothing this time. Okay. 